Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to explain the Stone Garden dungeon boss fights to you. Each of the bosses has a hard mode, I'm going to explain these because that's mostly where the dungeon is difficult. And there's also a few cool things that you actually can get like uh, buffs to further boost your power for the end boss because the end boss is very challenging. Timestamps in the description below as well as all social links. And there is also a written guide on AukusHQ.com. I will put the link in the description as well if you prefer reading. First boss fight is called Exarch Kraglin. You can activate hard mode, doubling his health and his attacks will do more damage. There is really only one very difficult mechanic. He has a few others like he will charge the player, he does a huge stomp and a lot of AV attacks. You will figure them out, it's not that big of a deal. The one important mechanic is called Blood Rage, and this is the make or break attack pretty much. You need to have an interrupt for this, because you need to interrupt this. On a magical character, you can use Crushing Shock in the Destruction Stuff skill line. On a Stamina character, you can use a Venom Arrow in the Bow skill line. So what does this thing do? He will start screaming. Everybody that is too close to him will get knocked back. So you need to make sure to be out of range. If you don't interrupt, the scream will drain your resources. So your 40,000 magicer stamina turns into 35,000, 30,000, 20,000, 10,000. Till you're out of resources and dead. Pretty much. So you need to interrupt this as fast as possible. For us, it actually worked best because the first drain happened super fast, like a second or 0 0.5 seconds after he starts screaming. Once we figure out when he starts to scream, we already spam Crushing Shock or Venom Arrow before he even starts the mechanic, because that way we can interrupt him at like 0 0.1 second of his mechanic. That way we will not lose any resources at all. Movement is crucial in this boss fight. You will have to keep moving around and dealing damage because the boss charges at you. There's a lot of AOE on the ground and so on. That means the group doesn't really stand in one spot. So you need some sticky heal over times or a self heal, a shield or something like that. The second boss is called Stone Behemoth. You can activate hard mode, increasing his health and damage. There's a very frustrating Magicka Drain mechanic. There will be a blue beam circle on the ground that will follow a player from the ads that will spawn and it will drain Magicka. Very annoying. So I actually recommend having some sort of like a resource management tool like Spellsim from the Mages Guild which might help you a lot because otherwise you will have to do a lot of heavy attacks. There's a lot of AoE attacks, most of them are not really deadly, just annoying, like the frost AoE stuff. Roots and snares you. Then we have fire AoEs on the ground that you can avoid. And one important mechanic is called like fire smash, where there will be a huge AoE fire explosion. You have to go out of it, otherwise you're gonna get one shot. The tank can stand in there, just block and you should be safe. Everybody else either use a barrier, shield up and block or just move out of it. We found it best to position one damage dealer at the entrance, one at the exit and the healer somewhere in the middle and the tank keeps the boss close to the ads that will spawn. You could decide to ignore the ads but the ads like uh, use this annoying magicka drain. So we usually saved our ultimates for the ads. So we dropped ulti on the ads and they will die very fast so we can move on. On top of the boss you can see which element he's currently on. So when there's like fire things on, on the boss he will do fire mechanics. If there is like a ice carpet on the boss he will do ice mechanics. Now we see this huge fire explosion. If you stand in this you're most likely gonna get wrecked. Unless you're a tank you can just block. And because we position the boss next to the ads and our group is split, it's also not very hard to avoid. So yeah, there's a lot of AoE and very annoying Magicka drain mechanic. The most important thing is 
Save the ultimates for the ads. Once they spawn, drop it so they die as fast as possible and focus them. If you want to see the full dungeon run, I will also put the link in the description because now we're going to move on to the last boss. The last boss is called Arkazis, the Mad Alchemist. You can activate hard mode, increasing his health and making the fight a lot more difficult. Like this one is no joke, you need to have an organized group to get through hard mode, otherwise you n there's no way you're gonna make it. There's a few different phases, I listed them all up on the website as well. You have two human arcasis phases, you have two werewolf behemoth phases, and you have like an execute phase where he turns into a lightning form. Keep in mind these numbers might change a little bit sometimes, uh, the developers like to adjust the values after like a patch goes live and so on. But anyway, let's start. This phase is mostly tricky for the tank, he's gonna get wrecked like crazy. The damage dealers and the healers, if you have a shield, you should be fine. But like, the boss does a heavy attack, it's a channel, you have to dodge all this one, otherwise you're pretty much gonna get one shot, even as a tank, it deals so much damage. There's fire, guys here is on the ground, like the boss throws fire bottles and then lava comes out of it, make sure to avoid them. Now for the tank again, fire dagger, the boss will actually fire up his dagger, now he puts a nasty dot onto the tank so the healer has to be ready to like put out as much healing as possible deal so much damage we couldn't purge it anymore on the last uh, public test server version maybe it will be purgeable again we're not sure but if not you just have to heal through it it deals a lot of damage and on top of that you have ads that spawn there is three ads per phase Always make sure to focus them as damage dealers as fast as possible. You don't want two ads alive at the same time. It will completely wreck the tank. Once the ads walk through like one of the fire bottles, they will also enrage. So you really want to make sure to kill them as fast as possible. At 60% the boss will teleport up and you have to get one of the green bottles to transform into a werewolf behemoth. The reason why we are on this side of the arena is so we are closer to the stone husk spawn area. And now you have two stone husks on the left side and two on the right side. So each player has to pick one and take the stone husk to one of the four corners of the arena. So you are evenly spread out. They are too close together, you can't stack them because they will enrage each other and the group will wipe. So. The Werewolf Behemoth, the skills. A quick rundown. The first skill is called Vicious Bite, it's basically your taunt. The second skill is called Rampage, it's your gap closer. The, the third skill is called Bone Crusher. This one is used as an interrupt and a stun on the enemy. The fourth skill, Thunderous Stomp, is a forward stone cone ranged attack because there is like shock orbs that will show up sometimes and you have to use this skill to destroy them. The fifth skill has two functions. First time you press the ability, it applies a heal every time you deal damage. And then after some time it's fully charged up and you can use a frost breath on the enemy and it will like deal damage and reduce the enemy's damage to you. Just make sure to not forget to reapply it again. And then we have the ultimate, which deals a powerful AoE damage attack and resets the timers and I think it also increases your ultimate generation I have a full screenshot of all the abilities on the website as well if you need time to study them I will showcase and talk about the werewolf behemoth once again in the second like time we have to transform now once all of them are dead we will be transformed back into human form and we will fight our causes again the only difference now is that he will also throw poison bottles that when you get hit by them they will stun you and deal a buttload of damage. So if you have a self here or a shield or something it's always very nice. Make sure to not stand on top of the poison bottles because they just wreck you, they deal so much. 
damage. For a tank in the middle, that is also very frustrating. You have to take care of the main boss, you have to take care of when the Ed spawns. And you have to be careful of the poison bottle, so there's so much things to track and everything deals an insane amount of damage. So one mistake and you're pretty much dead. Now try here, the healer actually guarded the tank to like mitigate some extra damage that worked pretty well. I'm also using the shadow image, so we get the minor maim debuff on the enemy, so it reduces his overall damage. So you really want to make sure to work with debuffs and buffs. Saving the ultimates for when ads show up is also recommended, because if you push the boss too fast, too many ads will spawn and the tank will get wrecked. So make sure to save ultimates for the ads. Another good solution is also barriers. You could just run barriers on all characters pretty much instead of damage ultimates. Because once again, if like if the boss drops too fast, it will just spawn more monsters. Let's fast forward to the second werewolf behemoth phase so I can explain it a little bit more carefully. Once I'm transformed, I make sure to activate my heal. I charge the stone husk, I taunt him and then let's go. Hammer him till he's dead. I frost breath to mitigate or like to reduce his damage and I keep using my first and second skill. So there's a shock orb. I use my number four skill to destroy it with the stone AoE. And now he's doing the green attack. You either need to interrupt that with the ultimate or with the number three skill. Keep hammering. Now my stone husk actually didn't do the yellow orb thingy. You can see it on the left side on my group member. It's kind of glowing yellowish. That means you have to swap your stone husk with another player. If not, you will pretty much get one shot. The mine died pretty quickly. Then you can just go help someone else. Always important to use your abilities because all abilities give you extra ultimate points. So you can use your ultimate more often and the ultimate just pretty much destroys anything around you. Once the stone husks are dead, you will get transformed back into a human form and the boss up there actually gets grilled in his box and transformed into a lightning form. And he regains health back to 40%. And that's when the last phase starts. In this phase, there's one make it or break it mechanic. The boss will throw his spears up and then you have to run in a circle all together, pretty much. Somebody will get pinned from time to time. You have to activate the synergy to pick that player up. If you don't do that, he'll die. And you have to run away from the boss because there's also shock AOE on the ground. If you're too slow, you will die. It is recommended to have some sort of speed buff or a barrier, anything that is ready. Once that phase is over, you can go back to damaging either the boss or the ad that spawned. If there is an ad, focus the ad. If the ad is dead, focus the boss. And it is best when the tank announces when he throws the spear up when the mechanic starts, so you have to run again. Also, please keep in mind the game client versus server side is very desync. You always have to be a little bit further ahead than your group mates. Because then you're actually running with them on the server. If you're running, like if you're the last player and everybody's ahead of you, you're even further back than you think you are because of the desyncs. You pretty much have to repeat these cycles till the boss is pretty low health and you're comfortable of burning him down. Till then, always focus the ads, because if there's too many that spawn, you're gonna get wrecked. And if somebody dies, it's really hard to recover. So it is always recommended to keep your shield up, use a barrier, or just anything that gives you damage mitigation and healing. The boss also sometimes charges at the random player and does a whirlwind. Block it and you should be fine. It's a very slow attack, so it shouldn't be an issue, do not this. So here we decide to do one more round of these shock AOEs that pin us to the ground, always pick up your group members. And after that we decide to just burn down the boss. It usually happens three times with the pin if I remember correctly. 
one more time so he throws it up and now we are done so we can go fight the boss we drop anything we have and nuke him into the ground and even now it's still tricky because there's a lot of damage the monster is enraged but we should be able to make it so yeah that's how this boss fight goes you really want to have voice comms available otherwise this will be almost yeah. near to impossible unless everybody already knows all the mechanics oh, no, no, no. yeah that's it please don't forget to subscribe and hit the juicy like button the written guide is on the website everything is also explained there including pictures of all the werewolf skills and so on thanks for watching and see you soon cheers